All right, guys, Woo, been a hot one today. It's like 34 here out in the garden. Uh, I had to get out the sun in the end, but it's gone in now, but it's still really, really warm. And I just want to put out a quick video because I want to share with you a trade that we took on the pound yen over the last couple of days. And the reason that it's important that I share this trade with you is because it's one of those trades that really reinforces what it takes to generate consistent profits out of the market. And really that means sticking to the plan. Let me explain why. This time, uh, roughly this time last year, I was in the room and I had a trade set up on the pound yen. The pound yen's got a very high ATR, which means basically means there's a lot of money at stake. Uh, it's a double-edged sword, so you can win a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money. And uh, I have a maximum 100 pips stop loss. Um, and the trade was setting up and it meant that I had to max my stop loss out. So I had 100 pips of risk on the table and uh, I took the trade and bang, lost. Okay, it stopped me out, lost 100 pips. And then immediately after that, there was a trade setting up uh, that almost met my rules, but I needed price action to just push up a little bit higher to meet another 100 pips, to get under another 100 pips of risk. Uh, <laughs> and it pushed up, it pushed up, and the live remembers are like, yeah, are you going to take the trade? It's going to be another 100 pips of risk. You've just lost 100, 100 pips worth of, uh, of profit. And I took the trade because it met my rules and it was one good trade. So as long as it met my rules, it was a good trade. Took the trade, ended up walking away with 240 pips. So, you know, not only made not only made back what I lost, but doubled it over more than doubled the the, uh, the loss. So similar thing happened this week. Got stopped out 98 pips last week on the pound yen trade. Uh, and immediately after, just going into the weekend, there was a couple of pattern trades setting up took the pattern trade got in sat in it for a couple of days uh, we hit target ones and then uh, eventually we went down hit target twos and uh, we netted around 100 and I think it was 119 pips to target one another 207 pips to target two and uh, in the video you're gonna really get that that sort of belief transference that sticking to the plan is the most important thing you'll see the price action hovering above my target two and uh, I don't take profits early and uh, typically what you see with rookie traders is they take profits early. That's one of, the, that's one of the, the biggest killers in new traders. They take profits early when price action's going in their favor. They get excited because they've got their up in profit. They take the profits off early. And when the price action goes against them, they move their stop loss away. And, and they're willing to take a bigger loss because they think that you know, the market's going to turn around any minute. And it doesn't. You, know, you don't know what the market's going to do ever. And if you think you do, you're gonna have a real hard time um, being consistently profitable. So one good trade, one good trade, one good trade. That's all, all you wanna take. And one good trade is defined by a trade that met your trade plan rules that you've worked so hard to back test, um, not whether it wins or loses. You're gonna have winners, you're gonna have losers. You wanna have an edge on the market. You wanna be profitable over time. So this is a, this is a picture of, the only reason you get that, that, that belief and trust in your system is if you back test your system uh, this is a picture of me back testing one of many uh, my wife found me many a time asleep um, testing hours and hours and hours and hours of testing and I did that while I held down a job so uh, I ran a business and um, yeah so you have full trust if you back tested your system you have full trust so check out the video um, I hope you enjoy it and if you do leave a comment below if you're more interested if you're interested in trading in the forex market just go over to tradingpower.co.uk the links are all below this video as well or just shoot me an email graystone at tradingpower.com or you can catch us on uh, social media instagram twitter facebook and all the rest of it so sit back enjoy and i'll uh, see you soon Two patterns forming at this zone. High probability trading opportunities here. Entered here uh, for conventional targets. Okay, and that's what I'm in. So hopefully we can hit target ones. If we hit target ones, we can roll stops to break even and hopefully push down and hit target twos as well. And then we're uh, 
and then we're back in business, right? So um, stick to the plan. That's what I'm in. I'm not looking for a trend continuation approach anymore because we violated this structure here. Uh, as whereas the first trade that I took was based on a trend continuation style, lower, low, lower close up at this level uh, for retest of lows for target ones and extended targets for target twos. Then we violated structure. So I'm no longer looking for a trend continuation move. What I'm looking for are conventional targets here. All right. And at the moment, we are just teasing. We're just consolidating up in this zone. A uh, few bits and pieces on today. Obviously, uh, we just hit targets on the pound yen uh, four hour advanced pattern trade. You can see we hit targets down at the 382 there uh, and uh, trail stops to break even. So syndicate, the um, targets have been logged. Just waiting for target twos to be hit on the on the live room account, the personal account, but the uh, 119 pips for the syndicate on this trade. All right, just an update on the pound yen trade. You can see we rolled over and hit the 382 yesterday uh, for target ones. I was taking conventional targets, managed to bank uh, 119 pips on that to target one yesterday, and uh, I've obviously rolled my stops to break even, and um, I've just rolled it down slightly more there so you can see the... Uh, the profit on the trade and you can see we're rolling down we we'll almost hit target twos need to push down another 10 pips or so i've got my target two set just above that 140 20 level at 140 22 um, and hopefully we can push down another 10 pips or so and neck another 200 pips out of this trade and this is the pound yen it's got a big atr this is a big move there's a lot of money on the line here and um i just want to show with you a different option if you if you was looking to lock in profits you could always jump down to the lower time frames and you could trail stops behind the outside returns as we put in lower lows here so you can see we've put in lower low outside return lower low outside return lower low and so on right we're, we're continuously making lower lows lower lows right and lower lows so if you wanted if you wanted to lock in profit and you had a sh and you had a, a rule that you could trail your stops you could quite easily just trail your stops and atr uh, above the highs of each outside return each time you put in a new structure low you just trail your stops down locking in profits as you go um, i do this on the bigger pairs so pound dollar pound yen if I'm ever looking for target twos like this, I'll trail my stops down to target two. And um, it's very effective. It means that you're not, you don't have to worry about price action pushing all the way back up. You've, you've capitalized, you've taken profit off the table for target ones. And for target twos, you want to lock in as much profit as possible. So uh, as long as you give enough breathing room, as I say, an ATR, I like to use an ATR. And uh, if you by using these lower time frames, you can identify these lower, low, lower closes, which you know indicates we're likely to see further movement to the downside so as soon as we put in a break and close below the low i can then roll my stops to an atr above this high so just a little trick there to lock in further profits but hopefully we can hit target twos and i'll update you on this later on i'm about seven pips from taking 200 five or 210 pips to target twos and i can't just come out of the trade in fact let me share this with you let me share this with you now. You also get to see um, me never moving my stop loss away, you know, uh, against me, against the direction. Order filled. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I just shared the uh, trade, guys. And, Order uh, cancelled. Price action just pushed down and hit my target. So um, 207 pips to target two. So I think we deserve... nice all right pretty nice trade right so uh listen guys if you're interested in learning this stuff um you can come in and watch me trade live every day tuesday to friday uh, i run a live room it runs eight o'clock uk time for two to three hours every day and then uh you can also join the new york live room depending on what time zone suits you best um mine's 8 a.m uh, UK time for two to three hours and then Akil runs the New York uh, session from 8 a.m. for two to three hours New York time so uh, that'll be that's one o'clock in the afternoon here if you live in the UK eight o'clock in the morning in New York time so um, you can come in you watch this stuff every day 
Yeah, and you can you can see what real trading is about. There's lots and lots of bad informa information out there. I've been a victim of of many different online and and professional trading courses that just you know ended up resulting in me not really getting any value and blowing tens of thousands of pounds. So uh, complete transparency, nothing to lose. The syndicate program is one dollar for a month. You can come in, you get a free training course with that, and you can come into the war room every day, the war room meeting. It's just complete transparency, absolute no brainer. And I want to get this message out to as many people as possible because uh, I want everyone to be on the right track. And uh, I don't really have any motivation to do anything else. So uh, yeah, check it out guys. And uh, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you soon.